warmer. Meters. It's clearer. Faster. Welcome to Huang Zuishan, the sequel. Four years after the original, the mud, the moaning from Hugo, the terrible lack of views. We're back at Huang Zuishan, or better known as Taipei's hidden volcano. It is summer, it is hot, it's not too sunny today, which is a good thing. But we don't have Hugo today, we have our lovely wives. So it's me, Andrew and the wives. We're back to do Huang Zuishan and hopefully this time we're going to actually be able to see something. But uh, we'll find out. Let's get cracking. All right guys, so we have walked 1.3 kilometers and we are here at the entrance to Huang Zhuishan Ecological Conservation Zone. Zero, 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 zero. Yay! First time we're in. Now we've just got to wait for the women to catch up. All right, we're through the gate, ready for the trail. Are you ready for the mud? Yes! Woohoo! Let's go! Okay, we've made it to the disastrous shelter and it's so different to when we were here last time. Last time we couldn't see anything, covered in mud. Today, no mud and look at the view. You can see so many things. You can see Yeo, you can see Jilong Islet and also Jilong Port. Uh, so clear and the weather today is perfect. It's, it's cloudy and it's windy so it kind of feels like wind kind of autumn weather isn't it not summer at all All right guys, I'm in the shelter because it's so windy. Um, we're at the summit, 912 meters. It's uh, much different to how it was last time we came because we couldn't see anything. But uh, today, the views are nice. But I can't put my drone up because it's a tiny one. It's just gonna get blown away. Uh, the wind is so strong. But uh, yeah, Huang Zuishan, we made it. How do you feel ladies? Piece of cake. Piece of cake? Oh, okay. Next time we'll do something more difficult. And one more. One, two, three. Three, two, one.
How was it, guys? <laughs> you were much faster than Hugo. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back at the car. Uh, roughly 10 kilometers, according to my watch. Um, although the official distance is less than that. And about four hours and 50 minutes. So, including breaks. So, pretty good time. Much faster than when we had Hugo with us. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was my recent hike to Huangzui Shan, which is located in Taipei City's Yamingshan National Park. As I mentioned in the video, it's the second time that I've done it on my channel, but I've done it many, many times before in the past. But I wanted to redo it because the first time I did it on my channel, if you've watched the video, it's one of my very early ones um, from a few years back. The weather on the day we went was really, really bad and uh, it was very muddy and not too enjoyable. This time, however, it was a complete contrast. So yes, overall, it was a really, really great hike. Now, if you want to do this hike yourself, there's a few things that you need to do. The most important is that you need to actually apply for this hike. Um, the Huangzui Trail is located in an ecologically protected zone. So you need to apply beforehand. And for that, I'll hand over to myself talking on the day. This walk is a little bit special because you need to apply online to be able to do it and it involves filling in a bunch of forms which can take quite a while as from my experience but then once you've filled it in and you send it off the uh, approval will come back and you will get the number to the padlock on the gate here and uh, so now we're going to try and open the lock. Transportation wise, um, the hike starts at uh, Qing, Qing Gang for most people. Although this is located in Yamingshan National Park, which is technically not far from Taipei, it's actually really troublesome to get to if you don't have your own transport. You have to catch two buses and it will take you at least two hours to get to the trailhead. So if you're planning to do this hike on public transport, then you really need to get an early start because you've got two hours transport out, then you've got about four to six hours on the hike, depending on how fast you are, and then another two hours back. So it will be a long day. All the bus details and so forth I will leave in the description below. Now difficulty wise, the last time we did this hike, it was a real struggle because of the mud and it was just slippy and a bit dangerous to be honest but this time it was so much easier at the end of the hike everybody was saying how easy it was i mean there's not a lot of elevation gain in this hike it's a really enjoyable trail because there's no steps it's all natural it's not too steep not too challenging there's a few big steps on your way up to the peak but apart from that it's mostly gentle slopes up and down it's um, around 4.5 kilometers one way. You've got 1.3 K to the trailhead from Qingtiangang, and then I think it's another 3.2 or something similar to that to the summit. And then you've got the return. So overall about nine to 10 kilometers. And I think that's pretty much all you need to know. If you have any more questions about this hike, then you can always drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. I really enjoyed that hike. I hope someday that you guys can too. If you're ever in Taiwan and the Taipei area, just remember you need to apply beforehand before you can do it. So if you like this video, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel for a new video every Saturday morning. If you wanna help support the channel, click thanks down below or buy me a coffee. All right guys, that's it. See you next time out there on the trail. Take it easy and over and out.